Let's go to Big Gas, which helps prop up this economy. Resources Minister Matt Canavan at a gas conference in Darwin says that lower prices confirm the wisdom of the government's move to introduce the Australian domestic gas security mechanism two years ago, and he's standing by his support for a domestic gas reservation in the east. Mm. Sky News Northern Australia correspondent Matt Cunningham reports. For two days this week, Darwin has played host to the annual SEOC conference. That's the biggest gas conference in Northern Australia. And this year, high on the agenda was the issue of a domestic gas reservation policy. Now, many of the gas companies are opposed to that policy, but Matt Canavan, the Resources Minister, when he addressed the conference here, he said the government was committed to its domestic gas reservation policy. He said it's a policy that's worked well in Western Australia, and in fact, he said that perhaps it should have been implemented some 15 years ago when onshore gas exploration and production really began to ramp up in Queensland. Another key issue here has been the bans on onshore gas development in both New South Wales and Victoria. Matt Canavan said the Victorian government should do one thing when its moratorium on onshore gas exploration expires in July next year. He said that one thing was nothing. Allow that onshore gas development to begin and perhaps help drive down some of those high gas prices we've seen on the East Coast. Now those High prices were also the subject of a panel discussion involving the ACCC chairman, Rod Sims. Rod Sims was asked whether the federal government's lack of an effective energy policy was contributing to those high prices. He said that wasn't the case. In fact, it was those bans on onshore gas exploration in New South Wales and Victoria and the fact that we built three LNG export plants here when perhaps we should have only built two that was really contributing to those high prices. Now, there are no bans on onshore gas exploration here in the Northern Territory after the Gunner government lifted its moratorium on fracking last year. We're just starting to see exploration begin here in the Beetaloo Basin, a resource that could hold as much as 350 trillion cubic feet of gas. But Matt Canavan said he also wanted to see exploration for liquids occur in that region. He said that global instability as well as fuel shortages here in Australia meant that we needed to start looking at ways to become energy independent. The Northern Territory's Chief Minister Michael Gunner and Matt Canavan also talked up the potential for Darwin to become a gas manufacturing hub. They both said that if those high prices continue on the east coast, Darwin could be a place where companies are able to get hold of cheaper gas, making their operations more cost efficient. Now, this week we saw the West Australian chemical company Coogee announce that it had begun a feasibility study to build a methanol plant here in Darwin. If it goes ahead, that project will create 1,000 jobs during construction and another 350 ongoing jobs, something that would provide a much-needed shot in the arm to the struggling Northern Territory economy.